Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my playthrough of Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. The date I'm recording this is October 10th, and by now you know that means Dread King Rathlos is available. And even better news for me is it's available in single player, as is Molten T Rex. I already turned myself down in Molten T Rex. I'm wondering if this one would be any easier, but. Since I already beat Among Kings, I don't need to show it again. But this quest right here, King Among Kings, is the one I want. There's also, oh, excuse me, I'm just trying to adjust my seat. There's also a meaty proposition with shouldn't you another expedition ticket SR? All you need is one gourmet steak. And it's gone. Alright, since I got the subway set up, right, let me set that as my objective. Alright, so it's East Kamuna, uh, East Kamuna Heights. Now, I haven't found a drag king yet, so this will be my, my first time actually finding one. Generations and generations. Ultimate because. Hmm. I wonder if I need to go. Here's my remote brother up here. Oh, I need an ID climber. So I don't have one in my party. Well, there's no reason to go up that way. Unless I decide to do this up west again and farm dragon parts for weapons and armor. Oh, it's a bull drone. Uh, I feel like. Oh! I almost felt like I couldn't get that treasure chest without drawing the bull drum. Yeah, this area is full of this needs to have bull drones and full rainbows. I don't have to, well, have to go through all the battles. I can just do a quick finish and be done with it. Two more bottle caps. Alright. Here's one more treasure chest I can actually obtain. goes up there, that's where the drag team is. I guess the part of its wing. And of course I still have Kyle. I I probably should have switched them. Switch them out. Because well because if I remember my experiences with Drakey and in generations and generations ultimate I'm either going to need for the Verto for, for part breaking, or I'm going to need, or I would need Shabal because Shabal has a dragon elemental weapon. Oh, it noticed me. Did not have time to gather everything. Alright, this might be more difficult. I have no... I, 
if it's like regular Rathalos in this game, it might start with power attacks. Hmm. Oh, I guess right. Okay, so. Well, your team's not good for head. So I think I'll start with that. Oh, this is going to use Infernal Crash. Yeah, Dragon is. Is he the Dragon Elm? I know Drake was going to freak it. Alright, so. My one weapon that is. Also, I mean where I 
I've maxed out the monsters I plan on using for the final two levels. I do want to get time to get those wings broken. Oh, it's going for a tentacle. Okay. not determines whether it uses flying, well, speed or tentacle in the air. 
but I want to clip its wings. Seems to be a pretty T-Rex egg. 
No, yeah, for Clock Quest, there is an Elder Dragon. Ooh, that looks like a Molten Tigress egg. I better take it with me. Or is it a Dragon egg? I mean, they're both flying wyverns. But that's the, but that's the egg I think it is. If it's Drake King, I get it. Drake King. If it's Molten T-Rex, I can take one of its wings and make it stronger. And I just realized I did that without any... any charms or prayers. So. so yeah, I can't believe I did it myself. Time to turn you in. All right, might as well catch the egg. Extra large, critical large, all out large. Alright, so power up your skills with. Well, it costs more kinship, but you get more powerful skill, skills. Increase crit rate and boost attack at 50% or less. I wonder if that's how they're getting around the fact that in Generations and Generations Ultimate, you had to break. You had to break Dread King's parts to be able to weaken it and do it, deal more damage. So often people would just focus on one part, normally the head. Break it and then just keep attacking that one part and take it down quicker. I think that's how it was. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I need to... Alright, so let me see if there's any... Right, it doesn't look like... Sword and Shield wise. This is a drug queen weapon. Mira's flight. Hmm, rapid fire and poison coating. That looks to be a good weapon. Just piercing weapons. Because otherwise, otherwise I would have seen it. In the Thank you. Times. It seems like it's only bow and gun lance and the armor. 
So, I think I'll call it an episode here. And, well, hopefully... Well, I've been real busy with work and it hasn't given me much time to... to get through this game. I've also been crying a bit of Tales of Arise. I'm liking it so far. And that's taking up time too, but... Hopefully I can get back to the Special Elder Slayer. I got... I got basically G-Rank equivalent deviants to deal with in Special Zone 8. And hopefully I can get to those before Gold Raffian and Silver Raffalos come out. So, until next time, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. So until next time, stay safe, be kind to each other, and treat your monsties with love, care, and respect. Thank you.